Oh yeah, baby. Mm. Amazing how one thing can just make your life so difficult. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now today is actually a Mercedes video as I'm finally getting around to getting my subwoofer installed that I got as a Christmas present for my Mercedes. So we're here at my parents' house as you can see by the collection of cars I have behind me. And the Merc is currently outside over the driveway as the driveway is full of cars and it just gives my dad a little bit more access. So I've obviously got the passenger side parked up against the curb here. So hopefully it's just a bit more ease of access for my dad to do his thing. So my dad's just been battling with uh, getting the radio out. This radio came with the Merc. It does actually play my music, unlike I thought it did when I first got the car with the radio. But as long as the radio plays my music, that's all I care about. Old chap I bought his car from, he left all the radio keys in the glove box. So that's obviously helped with getting the radio out. What you do now, checking the wires, make sure a sub can go on there. Mm. Yes, that's what we want. You what, want. That one there? System remote, yeah, to turn it on. So first things first, you've got to locate the wires, subwoofer wires to the back of the car. So I think Dad's just going to try and see if he can take off these plastics. Both really don't know what we're doing here. But you fitted subs before though, haven't you, Dad? Mm. Yeah, that's alright. It's getting the wires in position, isn't it? And I've never had a sub before in any of my cars. I'm quite excited. So the mats are out. Dad started to lift up the carpet. And he's still trying to work with this sort of kick plate. Break so it slides back and forth, but it won't come off now. Dad's removed the boot floor carpet out. Luckily, the battery's in the boot here, which I think makes things easier for my dad. We have a spare wheel in here as well. Oh, yeah, and also it leaves the headrest there. That's quite funny. Bench seat is about to come out. We're still just a bit baffled by this. It slid forward, but we're just, I don't quite know. It does want to lift up a bit. But again, this is all a learning curve, obviously. My dad. Bless him, he's never worked on a Beam and he's never worked on a Mercedes, but hopefully he won't lose his temper with this Merc and it will be done today. But yeah, it wants to lift, but I don't want to break it also, it's a bit a bit baffled. Sometimes the silliest things can really confuse you. We have the two saloons, boot to boot here. The Lance here proving a bit of a storage for all the interior pieces that are currently coming out of the Merc. Oh! Oh, thank goodness, it's fixed so it on the just... edge. Oh, okay. So that's the kick plate for the passenger door done. Then hopefully now we've got one off, we might have some sort of idea how the front one works. But we'll tackle that in a minute. You moving those plastic covers as well? Yeah, you should put the wires Oh, on. they poke back. That's... Oh, look at the... Oh, so they've done it before then, obviously, haven't they, Merc? Yeah. Good, isn't it? So it's like a little um, wire tunnel, okay. isn't it? Yeah. What do you call it? A wire channel? Hmm. Oh, so that's so we'll just tuck them in there then and cover it over. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's clever that. So the front passenger area carpet has been removed as we still try and tackle this kick plate. So it's really, really not nice to see the Merc in this sort of condition or this sort of state, shall I say. But I need to remember it will all be worth it. And it is an old car, but I just am very attached and in love with this Merc. I don't like to see it getting ripped apart as it is at the moment. That is just ripped this off, thank goodness. Oh, so this clipped in the middle. Jeez, we're trying to work around it, or shall we see underneath it, but it just wasn't happening. So at least now that's out of the way, we're probably gonna find another wire tunnel passage here, I guess. It's so clever that. Oh, look, it opens both ways. Isn't it, I was saying earlier, isn't it amazing how one thing can just make your life so difficult? What was that? That's yeah. just testing some wire, just sticking it all the way to see if it'll go all the way through the little channel here. Just a little practice run. There we have it, our test bit of blue wire goes from the back wire channel, we're going to call it, through to the front. So obviously it's just proving that wire can now get all the way down to the back of the car where we need it to go. Now it's to get the actual wire in that came with the subwoofer, get the subwoofer wire in installed and we'll pass it through this little clever wire tunnel. I still can't get over that. Here's all the wire in that came with the subwoofer and Dad's just thrown it in a pile and said, you can untangle that, so I shall give it a go. I don't know what's what, but he will know more than me. And then for the first time, I actually see the speaker of my subwoofer poking through the box. Got the Merc providing some good camera angles for us. Oh, this is going through the angle, isn't it? Quite like untangling stuff, I don't know about you guys. There we go. One thin bit of blue wire. Detangled. Now, f there we are, here we are. Now for the rest. The wire has now been detangled. We've got a red bit there, a brown bit, thin blue bit. 
And a great bit, so the least I can do is untangle wires for my dad, seeing as he's doing the rest for me. Here's the current state of affairs, as they say. And that kick plate that caused us so much grief. It's not all take, take, take here, guys. I have rewarded my dad and my mum, although my mum's not fitting this for me, but j just for the sake of it, to be nice and sharing as caring. Sausage rolls for us to keep us going while doing the sub today on the muck. Mm. Dad's going in the house to make a cup of tea, which means I've got to really stay and look after both of these cars. Actually, I can hear his footsteps now. Here are some subwoofer wires. They're making their way into the wire channel and that's now being able to get passed all the way through here they are underneath the wire channel through to the front which is what we want the trim here has also been removed where the seat belt is above so that bit of plastic is there that's also been removed to make life a bit easier because we weren't able to pass wires through because it was in the way so dad's currently got a bit of wire going through where the radio was out to the other side got a bit of the door sill come off there uh, we have or dad has broken it a bit but hopefully when it's back on shouldn't see it or oh, i can just probably get another one if it really affected me too much but yeah you're not really going to see that when it's pressed down to be fair so it doesn't matter but now it's starting to take shape got wires going in all sorts of areas and tape and everything's happening at the moment so luckily the dash doesn't have to come out or anything because dad's got ex access through the radio hole here and through the back as you can see there so yeah i was a bit i was thinking oh no my wood's gonna have to come out and all sorts getting a bit panicky but no everything can stay in place here um, he's just feeding it all through here, the letterbox. Cable ties are out, Dad's got his head torch on, he's just sorting out some wiring. He's trying to tuck it all away now really. All the wiring we really need, Dad, is all up front now, is it? Mm-hmm. Just a case of tucking it back in the channel. It's cool that, isn't it? Mm. What's the last car you fit this up to? The RS got the spray, isn't it? Oh yeah, Back it's in, the in the, what, the one that's in the garden at the moment, the same mm -hmm. one, isn't it? Yeah, still got the speaker for it. Alright, I think we need to get it test. Test what? Working, really. What, plug the sub in, like? Mm. Oh, okay. Wires are just working their way, they're tucked up nearly underneath here. Just going to go underneath the bench seat and they're working their way into the boot. And we're going to start connecting some of the wires up to the battery. This grey one and blue one, the one we've just passed through, through from the radio all the way to the back. Oh yeah, baby. So has it got an amp in it, yeah? Mm-hmm. That's nice. How many watts is this then? 750, I think. 750 watts, yeah. Blue wire which has come through from the radio getting connected. What's this brown one for? Go to the battery? No, it's an earth. Oh, an earth. These ones are connected to the radio, aren't they, at the front? Yeah. That turns it on from the radio, the little blue one. Okay. So it's got to get some power to it. So the red one goes to the battery? Yeah. Through a fuse, a fuse box that come with the sub, obviously. Yeah. But the guy that had this sub would have had to have bought all the wire in for it, yeah? Yeah. So we obviously don't have to, because it came with a sub. My brother's here now. Say hello. Hi. Hi, we're just both watching Dad now, doing the sub on the muck. So this is a fuse, Adam, is it? Mm, that comes with it. That's it, it doesn't look like it's been used. Mm. So the red wire for the battery is now connected to the sub. What are you doing now? Just getting it ready to connect to the battery? Yeah, do a temporary test on it. Temporary test. The red wire is now connected to the battery. There we go. We're gonna have to find a way to secure this sub, maybe just a strap for the time being, but it'll probably be based down the bottom of the boot. So the earth is now getting connected to the battery. My dad had to find a nut to uh, be able to do what he's doing now. Dad's now connecting the wires to the back of the radio unit. Do you have to tie? Oh, you have to wind that's, them up. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's quite clever, isn't it? Nice chunky wires as well. There's the... Uh... Yay! What about him? Yes, that is done. Oh! Yeah, where's the faceplate? Oh, faceplate is here. <laughs> oh, upside down. That need the aerial. Oh. So we have the sub on, we've tried and tested it, it sounds absolutely nuts. 
There's also settings on the sub box itself where you can tinker with the bass and other settings. My brother's just been back and playing with the radio I've got of the car to tweak some of the speaker settings, the standard speaker settings. Also, I've still got the rest of the car, still got standard speakers, but that might be something I might change at another date. But I've got a sub which is obviously pushing out the bass now. If you want to see my reaction to the sub working, because I might get copyrights on this YouTube video, then check out my social medias. I'm on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, I'm going to put videos on there of the sub actually playing some decent music, bassy music, but yeah, very happy, it's pretty nuts, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of different uh, controls there. My dad's just got to sort out this bit of wiring here. It's not looking too great, but it does work. It's in. Now it's a case of emptying the poor Lancer of the Merc interior, getting the Merc back together. Then my dad can do a couple of finishing tweaks to finish it off. Dad's now just putting the passenger floor area back together. Carpet's gone back in. Got a bit of plastic going in there, clipping in. The boot is pretty much back together. You'll notice the sub is currently on the floor because my dad's just uh, going to poke the wires through we're going to sort of locate this sub but like I said I will need to get some sort of strap to hold it securely down in the boot. It's been quite windy here and looks like it might threaten to rain soon but the sub is in. Now a lot of other people never you know tie theirs down and what that will cause is obviously the sub to move around and the wires to be under more tension so my dad's donated a ratchet strap. Luckily the Mercedes has a holder there to strap something down to and there's another ring at the back where the ratchet strap's gone into that side. Thanks for helping, Dad. No problem. So guys, the sub has now been installed to my Merc. So a big thank you, as always, to my dad. He's done a good job at figuring out how bits come off and how bits then go onto the Merc. Because obviously he's never worked on a Mercedes before. Neither have I. I'm just a camera girl who owns this car. And he's done a really good job at installing the sub. Tucking the wires all back as they should be, holding and securing the subwoofer in place to stop it rolling around the boot, as I said before. Now, if you want to see how this sub sounds, like I said before, do check out my social medias because of copyrights. I don't want to get copyright for this video with playing bassy music, well known bassy music, dance music, whatever. So do check out my socials and I'll put a video there of how it sounds. But yeah, my subwoofer that I got as a Christmas present is installed in the Merc. I've never had a subwoofer before. I love it. I love my music. Now I can't wait to take this car up and down some motorways, long journeys. I don't know where yet or if I've got anywhere to go. Just an excuse to listen to my music. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. A big thanks to my dad for taking his time on a Saturday morning to help his daughter out once again. Oh, and also it was quite funny that some um, kids are maybe around 8 or 10 years old. They're on a bike and a scooter and I could see them at the bottom of the road eyeing up my dad's Lancer. And as they came closer, one of them had the confidence to say, I like your car. So they said that about the Lancer, not really about the Merc and the Abarth and all the other said cars on the driveway hiding away. Must have been them complimenting the Lancer. As they were sort of went past, they sort of stopped right sort of near us, sort of looking back at the car. So me being me, I'm like, hey, have you kids heard of YouTube? Yeah. And I said, oh, hit me up, driven 24-7. The boy, bless him, got out of his phone, subscribed. So if you two are watching this video, thanks for subscribing and nice having a quick chat with you. And thanks for showing interest in our old tatty cars. Hi, guys, and welcome back to another video. Now, today we're actually filming as the car comes past. <laughs> 